All right, guys, what's going on? I just got done running the 261 and the other 261. And uh, this is not really gonna do this thing justice, but I wanna kinda show you uh, the deal. Uh, okay, so say if this was a yard, I'm gonna use the combi bristle right there. But say if this was a yard or and or a driveway that you're cutting on, you gotta get a broom or sweep or blow and all this stuff. I like the combi a little bit better than a blower in a way because you don't have to worry about the crap going everywhere. You can kind of wind roll it. It still lets some fly here and there, but you know, it's not as bad. You know, like when it's windy out and you've got your blower, when you're blowing, you're kind of pissing in the wind because it just blows stuff everywhere. This keeps it down low and all that. The only deal is with this, uh, and I think I'm gonna have to take it and, and get it tuned. Uh, these trimmers are way different than a chainsaw to tune in the way their turn the the turns are way out you know like they may have the high set two and a half turns out one and a half or some shit but anyway uh like when i first got this thing it started the first pull i think without even choking it or whatever or maybe the second time anyway uh i don't know if it's a little fat or what i'm gonna try it right now without choking it and see if that helps it uh but what I'm getting at, it's kind of hard to start. It takes way, many, way more pulls to start than my pole saw does. So that tells me, and my pole saw was a little bit like that. It didn't want to idle when I first got it. Uh, so I took and got it tuned. They give it a little more fuel, turn the idle up just a little bit. You know, that's what it needed. I, I messed with that, uh, <clears throat> I messed with the pole saw myself and I had it fairly close. Uh, but the dealer up here got it a little better. I'm sure he's a lot better than tuning me because I ain't got no lies to tell. I can get the chainsaw tuned well enough to cut and it's pretty good, you know. I'm getting a whole lot better at it. I've gotten a whole lot better at it, but used to I couldn't tune the saw for shit hardly. Or I, I could in a way. I knew how to, I knew the concept of doing it, but I just always went too fat because I was scared about blowing it up. That's my biggest problem. Uh, but I'm getting some better at that and uh, everything like that. And plus the low jet is was always kind of hard for me in a way, I guess. Uh, let me get some better at, at that on trigger response or uh, throttle trigger response and all that helps you out on that. So uh, just like with anything, the more you do it, the uh, better it is. You know, because before I really got into this YouTube thing and 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 the hobby of messing with sauce, you know. I'd mess with the saw a little bit, and most of the time i just cut. Sharpen the chain, cut, and then if it messed up, took it and got it fixed, you know. Didn't deal with tinkering with it, so. But in the past three or four or five years, whatever, I've come to more enjoying saws and, and tinkering with them, so. You know. well, I always enjoyed saws, per se, but I'm talking about as far as working on them. Used to, I, I really could not work on stuff much. I could, but my patience was very, very, very short. And half my tools would end up in the field across from my house or, you know, slung up against the wall. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I'm gonna show you how this combi does. We'll see if it starts. I have no idea. See how it That was no choke at all. And and I'm fine with that. Maybe going on half choke or whatever. But the problem is, but in the, you know, after that, the, the, the past couple times I started tried starting it, I've been uh, turning the choke on, which in turn I think's been flooding it, so it takes forever for it to start. But it, it's not a real high revving machine uh, like most weed eaters, two stroke weed eaters and whatnot. But they really got the grunt. You know, they make the three different sizes for this, or four different sizes. Three of them's got the body like that, and the other one's a smaller light body. Uh, with bigger attachments, I think you're wasting your time with it. I think they make a, the 111, the 131, and maybe the 94. But the deal is, they're all the same weight, all, all the same size, just the 131's got more power. Of course, it's a little more money. But if I'm gonna pack around weight, 
I want the most power, you know, because it's all going to be the same way. So anyway, we'll see what... I like it because it, it, it'll grab, it'll do pretty, pretty big stuff right here. You know, it'll, it should move most of that. It ain't going to move probably that big chunk, but it should move most of the little stuff.
I like it. And I like it too because it's very, very easy to change the attachments out. Uh, which that took me a little longer because I made a mess when I went in there real strong and heavy, you know. Uh, but for all in all, use the blower to get out away from the edges of your stuff, which I'm not that worried about. I just want to sweep most of this up the wind to carry most of it. But then, I, you know, you can keep playing. But I, I love it because it, they're easy to change out. Because they make two different kinds. They make one with like rubber paddles and then they make the bristle brush. I got the bristle brush just because I thought it might be better in grass. I don't know. I've seen paddles and the bristle brush used in grass and whatnot. So we might try it. I think the paddles would be good for pavement, concrete, and, and things like that. Maybe getting snow. But I don't know, you know. You don't know until you try something. Uh, but I like these pretty well. All you do is Loosen the clamp up. Slide that dude out. Get your arrow lined up. Slide that in, tighten her up. You're ready to go weed eat. And once it starts, you know, once you get it started. Still's coming, walking away with some of this stuff. They may be a little sluggish on the back. Uh, may well be a little behind on the battery fire stuff, but. All in all, it's pretty good little hit.
done. We done, buddy. Hey, boy. Yeah, it's a weed eater. Weed eater. Anyway, here's the combi kit. And, uh... I'll be done in a minute. But, you know, I'm not a professional weed eater by no means, but this thing gets with it pretty good. We'll get you some tall, tall grass there. And, uh, you know, it, it, it does well. Like, I like it pretty good, you know. Uh, you know, it's fairly expensive. I like it. I, you know, I ain't using a string. It come with a, a string head. I've got these plastic blades, these blades, this thing is real easy. Right here, this thing is real easy to change out the blades. You can have it done in two seconds. You got a rod that sticks in the top, unscrew the head, then it comes apart, then you got new blades that you can put on. And they're not terrible, but I hate messing with weeder twine. Uh, it's just, that's a fact. It's a really good, uh, good deal, I think, or a good. I don't know about a good deal as far as price, but what I'm saying is, I think it's a very good uh, concept, especially if you're into into that kind of stuff. Because you can buy one head or two heads, you don't get like the head, the strongest, and then maybe the littlest one, the one that don't weigh the same as these. And the little one you could run the light equipment with and the big one, you know, so you don't wear one out or you can just buy one head and have multiple, multiple uh, tools. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I like it. I, I bought it mainly for that. And then since I got it, like say you can, this head right here has a bar you stick in like right there and it holds that from spinning and you just twist the head off just like it's a nut. And it, and it comes down. Well, we can, uh, I guess we can go change the blade real quick. I can show you. Uh, go in the shop. I ain't got much light going on in there right now. Uh, we may make that another video, changing the heads out and whatnot. Or heck, I can do it right now. Let me go get a file. My bar's in the truck, so.
some of these I think hold two, three, and even four blades. Uh, I, I'm not sure how many mine holds, but we're gonna try to do this real quick. I'll try to get you all me where you can see me. Pretty good seeing me doing this. I hope this file works because, like I say, my bar is in the in another truck. Not my truck that we just walked by either. <laughs> I guess I forgot and left this dude in here. Clean the crap out of it. Center down locker. y'all are still in the frame i had to get that set up you got to make sure you're in the the right deal i wasn't in the right deal apparently it just unspins like so very simple oh shit this stays on the weed eater head i'm gonna flip this over honestly now that I got it so that don't fall off. I'll get that started and then I'll do it. Now you can't see, can you? Let me flip you around. So, but anyway, I'm gonna back you out a little bit and hell, where you can kind of see what's going on. You get the gist of it. Yes, <laughs> These heads ain't bad. I think this thing just, yeah, it does this number. Yeah, I guess this one is only two. And I guess the the way the manufacturer had them down, uh, the writing goes down. See the writing here. And there ain't a lot. Took off these blades a little. I like them because they're like kind of like a bush hog. If you hit something, they flop back. It don't let you just sit there and whoop the hell out of something. I'll keep them in the case I ever get loaded. Uh, the blades are pretty inexpensive. I don't know exactly how much they are, but they're not terrible. Then that's it. And then just get these. Hell, I don't know how I had it. Set back on like that. Take this dude and get her, get her started on there. I'm going the wrong way, I don't know. It should be right. I said it's simple. I guess I need to hold that again, don't I? It must be spinning on me. Still spinning on me, shit. Easier to do if you're on a got a workbench or if you if you got it on the workbench guaranteed it guarantee you this i don't know if this is reverse threaded or not it is reverse thread it's reverse thread so if you got the actual rod that fits in the hole instead of using a file like I'm doing which it comes with a rod just like it does all the tools you know like all things come with tools just I left it in the weed eater when Marcus was using it and he put it in his truck he's going on vacation and I don't know exactly where he put it so I broke that file off in there so that's okay that'll come out and that's tight enough I mean you ain't gotta sit there and kill it for sure like I was doing and, you know, if I went and put this on the bench like what I should have and had the right stuff, changing this would have took all of two minutes. I mean, you know, and they last a long while. That's Those have weeded quite a bit. And you're back ready to go. I reckon. I use 
used them on and they're pretty eat up because I've used them on quite a bit of brush I used them trimming that mess up over in there like making it straight and whatnot kind of pruning with them the plastic blades so all in all the blades are pretty tough and they're still not bad they're a little warped but they they do what they do so anyway that's it on the comedy that's all the attachments i got as i get more or run across more we'll talk about more and i'll let y'all know the process like I say on these uh pull saws in the combis make sure your fasteners are tight the handle on mine was kind of loose and this was assembled backwards and crooked and all kinds of stuff i had to straighten it up you know it ain't no big deal other than your power head is tilted crooked and that may be the way it's supposed to be but i didn't like it like that and that's just partly where you go to some dealers have young kids working there that uh, don't know much more than how to drive a car and uh some some dealers i go to uh you know have guys that's been there 50 years and uh, pretty much know everything about steel except the new stuff so uh except like that you can punch the pin in the the 661 and 500i and 462 oilers and get more oil out of them but anyway uh there you go that's what we got uh we'll catch y'all on the next one see ya